You know, Ross, that's a, it's a great question, and I've got to get my three guys together this afternoon because I don't know any of the recruits. I don't know where they're from. I don't know who's still out there that we're recruiting because this all happened so quickly, and I obviously wasn't sitting around. I was pulling for the team. I wasn't looking at recruiting. So uh, I'm further behind in that area than any other right now. So as soon as we talk to the team, the rest of my day will be looking at who's on the road, where are they, uh, where do I need to go and, and get out immediately. Um, so, so all of that will, will be a process that we will start immediately this afternoon. The uh, strategy is get the best players you can. I'd love for them, and, and I need to sit down with, with the guys and see what we need. You know, where how many seniors have we got? What positions are we losing? Where did we sign good freshmen last year? Uh, who can come in and play immediately? Um, so all of those things are things that you think about. And, and to me, I, I love the large majority of our team to be from in-state for all the reasons I said. I, I, uh, and, and then we would, uh, we used to go to, to Virginia, we used to go to Florida, we used to go to Atlanta. Uh, you go to different places out of state to get some players. But uh, to me, you got to win at home first. You got to win in this stadium before we can go somewhere else and win. Uh, you got to win at home in recruiting before you can go out of state because if the locals won't come, why don't an out of state guy that's really good won't come? So we will go back to the same process we've used everywhere. And that's find the best players that are as close to your campus as you can be and build your program with them and then add superstars from outside. Hey, Coach Brown. Uh, Patrick Wright from WFMY. Hey, Patrick. Hey, welcome back to Chapel Hill. Thank uh, you. My question is. What's the biggest lesson you learned in your time covering college football? Oh boy, the the uh, number one that uh, coaching is a hard profession. I, I've watched and, and I see. Uh, I'm calling the Clemson Syracuse game a couple of years ago when um, Clemson lost the game late, and and Dabo Sweeney's getting on that plane at midnight in Syracuse to get back to uh, Clemson at five in the morning. And then he had to hop on a plane and go to a reunion for the halftime of the Alabama game in Tuscaloosa. And Sally and I sat and looked at each other. That we didn't miss. Um, so it, it, it's really, really difficult. The other thing that, that I saw is coaching matters. It matters. Because you, you look at guys who, who even got into it this year. Scott Frost really struggled early. He coached that team so hard at Nebraska, they got better at the end of the year. Chip Kelly struggled early. They, the kids bought in at midseason. He finished really, really strong beating USC. So coaching does matter. And, and it's so refreshing to me when I, I, I traveled this year for the Hall of Fame uh, celebration for, for the year. But when you get around the guys that, that we had here, Tulane or Appalachia, and they say, uh, you probably don't remember this, but you told me this uh, when I was a sophomore. And, and I'll never forget it. And, 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 it's a, and I don't know if I told them that or not, but it, it might not be what I said, it's what they heard. Uh, so you, you have to be really careful starting this afternoon that every little thing you say and do affects someone's life. And that's a wonderful thing. And if you're not careful, you win so many games, you get into you. And, and you lose the fact that it's about the players, it's not about you. You lose the fact that it's about teaching them and growing for the rest of their lives. 